I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Hub Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased to be joined by Tarkin Manor. He's the president and CEO of Weiss. You've got one of your devices here. Right here. You're here to sell. I'm here to sell. I'm not, here. <laughs> I'm not here for societal change. You're here to sell, create value. But yeah. you've also got quite a disruptive technology, Absolutely. which is green. Yeah. Tell me your story. So typical PC, 300 watts, costs about $1,000. All security issues, manageability issues, difficult to maintain. It's basically a technology of 1980s. So devices like this in my hands that we basically produce, um, they don't need 300 watts, they only work on 2 watts mm -hmm. and they cost less than $50 starting at $35. Basically our goal is to make every person on this planet, all 7 billion people, to connect the internet with something low cost like this. We're mm -hmm. trying to commoditize the PC market, we're actually so crazy, we're trying to commoditize ourselves. Our goal is PC compliant technologies like this, mm -hmm. driven only by the cloud. There's no OS, no applications, nothing on this. Mm -hmm. Everything comes from the cloud, from your public cloud or private cloud. Mm -hmm. Our goal is basically with this low cost device, make it even freer, mm -hmm. almost free, and deliver the content to end users, whether they're students or your doctor mm -hmm. or your home uh, 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 from the cloud and make that uh, content available to you 24-7 and the cost becomes the service that you get, not necessarily devices like this. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to commoditize the computing industry at a high level. And our business is public sector, with public sector, 50%, and 50% is with private sector. Mm -hmm. We're a very fast growing company, 100% year over year growth, mm -hmm. out of San Francisco. We have operations worldwide, and we're here at Davos because we believe mm -hmm. this also impacts societal change. I was joking earlier, <laughs> there's a lot of societal change conversation, green conversation, cloud mm -hmm. computing conversation. In a sense, we bring technology mm -hmm. and all these issues around the economy, political mm -hmm. structures together to an uh, impact. So give me an example of one of your clients, how they've been surprised by what they've ha what's happened when they've used your technology. South Africa, uh, Ministry of Education. They could not afford fat PCs costing $1,000 for students. Even if they could afford $1,000, when those PCs break, mm -hmm. they don't have people with knowledge to send and fix those computers in a village. There is uh, almost no roads to get to. Mm -hmm. So with these type of devices, since there are no moving parts, mm -hmm. since there are no moving parts, there's no heat. Since there's no heat, no, no fan, they don't break. So once you put these things, they run forever. And since there are two watts, in a field, in a, in a, in a, in a village with a tractor, mm -hmm. with fuel diesel engine, they can power 50 of these devices for a month. Mm -hmm. So to make long story short, one great example is for you, Ministry of Education, South Africa. Mm -hmm. Two million units, two million students, up to 10 million this year. Mm -hmm. um, in private sector, companies like JP Morgan Chase, Citigroup, mm -hmm. they need to cut cost. You're watching the Davos, all mm -hmm. these sessions, economic crisis, people trying to cut cost. And technology is a big part of the cost mm -hmm. for businesses. So we bring that cost down. You've got this, what else do I need in order to... All you need is your data center, the data centers you have. Mm -hmm. You don't a need to create them. personal one, a company one, your personal one, yeah. Your personal one, when you're at home, mm -hmm. you're connecting to a service to do Facebook yeah. or Google. You're connecting to the data center in some shape or form. Yeah. Right now you have your Blackberry or iPhone, mm -hmm. you're connecting. You're connecting to a Swisscom service mm -hmm. back in Zurich. As long as you have some data center connectivity, which we all have in some shape or form, mm -hmm. these devices connect to that data center right. or to that server, wherever that might be. Your private server in your organization, mm -hmm. it might be a public cloud server like Facebook or mm -hmm. Google outside of your organization at home, depending on your usage. Bottom line is, this little device with two watts under $50 replaces that $1,000 headache uh, uh, with your PC 100%. It does everything it does, and with security, with manageability, and without the cost. I'm sold. I'm yeah. sending you my check in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> and part of the reason this is so important for us is because education market, education industry as a whole, mm -hmm. uh, is going through a rough time right now because ministries, Department of Education, they, they don't have enough money mm -hmm. to supply great technology to schools. So a lot of students, even San Jose, think about San mm -hmm. Jose, is the capital of Silicon Valley. 50% of the students do not have computers because right. the school districts cannot afford it. You're from yeah. the Bay Area. Yeah, in, the, in, the, in the capital of the Silicon Valley, we have students still do not have computer access to the internet because of the cost and complexity of PC. So we're creating an education cloud for San Jose, for the school districts. Mm -hmm. 39 school districts are gonna go with this. So, uh, so uh, our goal is to connect 
all students with a cloud so they can do mm -hmm. uh, and they can learn faster. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming into the Thank Pavilion you. here in Davos. I really appreciate Thank it. You. I'm Edie Lush.